Hi, Dave Snyder here. It's November the 26th, 2012. Okay, so just a picture of Mare Oriental up from the moon, reversed over the Earth. And this is a, a USGS map from 1978 prepared for NASA. So US, USGS made the map for NASA back in 1978. There's a date on it. And here's, the, here's where it says that, right here. Down here. This is it on one of these sites. I'll show you in a second. Shaded relief map of the Mare Oriental area in 1978. The date is right here. See that? Department of the Interior, United States Geological Survey. Prepared for. National Aeronautics and Space Administration, right there. Okay, so this is reversed over the Earth. As you can see, the letters are all backwards. And it's over South America. South America. I want you to just take a good look at this crater over South America. At, at this size, okay, this size. This is twice the size they see the moon is already, probably, you can see. 5,500 miles. That's the size of Mars. Hmm. So anyways, just take a look how it fits. And remember, this is a drawing of Mare Oriental made by USGS. It's a very accurate drawing, though. It's very, I've lined it up with some, it just lines up very well. Okay, th this is a crater right here. See this crater right here? It's got kind of a crater in the center, kind of like a, like a jagged donut, kind of. And it's the same thing. It's this right here. It's the same thing. It's right here. That is right here in South America. That that it, that is the same thing. See what I'm saying? You can see that, right? Even though it's a drawing, you'll see like like this shape here. You can see it because it's in the land right there. It's that big big round shape right there. Look. Let's go and zoom in on this crater here. See the cloud? That's why the clouds, they put the clouds in there. This is a, there's a circle right there. Absolutely is. Right where that cloud is. It might be just, oh, I see it right there. See it right here. See it in the, this right here. Or, or right there. One of those, two, one of the two. Yeah, it's, it's actually. This is to hide the center of it. That's what the, that's what the clouds are for. To hide the center of it, or the clouds are right over the center of it. When they take the picture, they're always just there. But that's that's what the cloud. You can see the clouds are the same shape, pretty much. You got to remember it's a drawing, drawing so it's be perfect. Okay, and then there's this one over here, right there. You can see it, right there. That's it right there. Center of it, you can see the center is right there. It's just a little bit off. So I just kind of threw it up there real quick. No, no, there's you see that one too. See it? You can see that right there. Look. Circle, right? there's a circle. It falls right in place. Falls right into place. See the center of it? It's right there. You can see the center of it right there. Or no, it's right there. That's it right there. See the circle? I can see it. I'm going to turn the borders or whatever they are off. Back off and just take a look at the whole thing. I'm gonna turn the border, border, or just take a look at this down here, this area here. See that right there? That shape that shots out. Like, right, look at that. It's right there. Clearly, see the ring around the outside. Look, that ring just fits perfect. I mean, you can see this right here. Look, this is right there in South America. You can see that shape. Watch. 
See the shape? Right here. It's right here. Right there. Watch. See that? You can see this shape. Just remember, this is a drawing, but you can see this right here. Look at this. It's right there. Right there. It's the same thing. You see the whole shape. Look at the whole shape overall. Sometimes it helps to sit back from your monitor, monitor a little bit. I'm using a big screen, so it's, you can see it really clear. But, you know, it kind of helps to sit back a little bit, and you, you'll see it better. And that when you, when you stand back, you'll know it's not playing tricks with your eyes. That's, and that's another thing. You sit back a little bit. Just check it. It's there. This is totally right in place. I mean, this this up here just right there fits so perfect. You can see it. See that? How the, it just almost almost looks 3D. Then you come up here and just back the whole thing off and look at it overall, and then you can see the whole thing. Everything goes down and flows in the right direction. Let me turn the borders on. Check it out. If you got a small screen, it's going to be hard to see. I, I'm, I apologize for that, but I shouldn't, actually. Get a big screen. So look at that, how that fits. See that? See how the borders are? I mean, this is the borders of South America. Just look how it fits right in there. Watch. And then you get the other picture and you put it up here and it's just, it's better. I just got to find it here. This, is it this one? Yeah, I think it's this one. See that? Same thing. Same thing right there. Now what I think is going on with the size, the way it's always different, I always got it at a different size. I, I, I know, I, I, believe me, I know, I know that. I, I mean... So I mean, it's. I think that what it is is when it hits at the poles. The, see, I, I I think the moon is Mar, the Mars-sized planet. I do believe it is the size of Mars. I do believe that. That's the size. It's it's that's the size of Mars. And and when it comes to when it hits up here, it hits the poles. See the poles there it, on, on the Earth. Everything towards the poles seems to be squeezed smaller. I mean, the moon the moon picture will fit, but it's smaller up here when I put it up here. It just and it'll still fit. But then you bring it down, and, and the picture gets bigger as you bring it. Bring the picture down towards the equator; it gets bigger. And so I do believe the continents, because there's a bulge that goes around the Earth. Obviously, I mean, the, the other the continents are going to be stretched out when they come down to the equator. If they're if they're on the equator near the equator, they're going to be bigger. If they come from the pole, by the time they get down to the equator, they've been they've been kind of stretched out. I think. The continent itself was made bigger that way. Anyways, because it's got the magnet. I mean, it's something to do. It squeezes things at the, up at the poles. It's weird. Everything goes up, but it only goes up to a certain point to the pole, basically, and it doesn't. Nothing goes. You know what I mean? Just the way it is. But the moon has not always moved away from the Earth. I can, you can, as you can see, as you can clearly see, South America is completely shaped by this, this, this impact. I like the other one better myself. It's right in there. You see this real good too, right here. This little spot right here. See that? I mean, it just, you know, when you, if you look up close, this picture, it's hard to, hard to show this, but maybe I should, I should change the color or something of it. My, my people might be able to see it better that way. But anyways, you see, like, right here, these two li this line and this line that come down right here, there's like a line and a line, it, it, right there in, on, in South America, there's like this line, you see this line, and it's, you just see those, those lines just match right up, see that? How they line right up, and it, everything else just... You know, you can you can see it. Simple, simple, simple. 
So, moon hit the Earth, as I've said a bunch of times, but, you know, it's it almost seems like everybody knows, but it's like a campaign to not talk, I got this campaign going to just to stop the top people from talking about it, don't want to talk about it or something, it's something weird like that, I don't know. I, I think it's, I think it's awesome to know, to learn something that nobody else has learned, or they have learned, but they don't talk about it, it's just kind of, oh well, maybe I guess I've been left in the dark for a long time, huh? Either that or nobody just, no, just nobody knows, nobody looks. I think nobody wants to know. Almost. But, simple enough to know, if you want to know, it's simple enough to do. If I can do it. I mean, it's, it's just incredible. It is just incredible. What was I doing with this? Oh yeah, that's no fun. Weather. Weather's kind of weird today. Oh, I can clearly see that spiral up there in the moon. Look. This over here, you can always see this over here. Fit right in there. Right in there. Some weird weather. Look at that fit. Look at the weather fit that. You, you can see that line. I know you can see that line that comes around this right here on the moon. And the peak right in the center right there where the weather's clear. And these spiral arms that come off this right here, you can see those on the moon as well. One comes down this way and one comes out this way. You can see it. This right here, the center of that, you can see that that's that's probably should be right over the center of that actually. Should move that probably this this picture probably that way, but leave this aligned, but just bring this in a little little bit maybe. That's where it lines up. There, hold on, let me see. There's something might be something right there that I can see. Underneath that. Oh yeah, there's something round right there too. Right here. Oh yeah, you can see that one too. That's cool. Let's see if you can see it when I take the moon away. See, you can still see it. Still see it when I when I take. When, look at that right there. Watch. See the circle in the cloud right there. This is live streaming weather, people. Live streaming, and this is an alignment that I just brought up. You just saw me bring it up. It's been there for a while. And to see the circle in the clouds. I don't have no. I don't have that moon picture on here. Take the moon picture off, and there's the circle right there still. There's the circle on, in the clouds right now, today, this minute, this second. Okay, turn this on, and just fade out that weather, and there it is. Circle. What do you think creates that circle in the clouds right there? What do you think creates that circle in the clouds? I think it's that. I know it's that. That is just phew. see that that circle is in the live streaming weather on Google Earth in the clouds this minute. There it is. There it's not. And there it is. What the hell is that? See that just fell right into place. I haven't even looked at this all day. This is the first time I looked at it. I mean, that, that circle won't be there, you know, when the weather goes, I mean, whenever there's weather right over that spot, it probably will show that, that circle. Just like the Sandy alignment that I did on my other video, I've been trying to show that too. I lined it up the day of Sandy, and it, the, the impact, the crater, or the picture of the moon has not moved from the spot that I lined it up with over the weather, that, during Hurricane Sandy, and then when I brought, I just downloaded those images of, uh, from NASA of Hurricane Sandy, some real high, de high definition, uh, NASA images from their site. Put them right in, right where Sandy, right over the moon crater where I have it overlaid over the Earth, where Sandy was that day. 
and it just the clouds and their pictures show the same thing that I put right down on the earth a picture of this crater showed the same thing in the clouds just like you're seeing right there same thing right there see the circle right there same thing same thing and look at it it's even bigger it shows it to be almost bigger than that circle pretty close that's that's pretty good that shows how good of a, I have it aligned right there see I, that's the first this is first I just discovered that that circle that's the first time I've ever seen that first time you see it first time and and you see how it works right there and look at just and then everything else lines up too you can see that and then you, you come over here again and you just look at this and it shows that I'm right on right on target because that peak is right there right where it's supposed to be and that and that crater is right where it's supposed to be on the earth under the, without the moon there uh, under the weather right now in, on the earth some in the ocean this is mostly in the ocean actually most of it's in the ocean over here this is in the ocean and it still shows shows it to be right there let's take the let's take it away and uh, look at it on the earth okay, so right there in the ocean Right there. Weather updates every couple minutes. Right there in the ocean. Doesn't really. You can see something there, but I don't know if it's from. I don't know if it hit right, right here. I don't know. Well, it hit right. It hit this part of the ocean floor. I don't know if it was right here where it is now. I think it was all over here when it happens. I think they show the impacts up here in the weather, but I think that they happen down over where the subduction is, and it pushes. And you can see the North America has been pushed over this way. I think the ocean floor and and North America were pushed over this way. It just kind of sk it pu it pushed a moon, uh, the moon hit the Earth and it pushed the continent off the top of this area where it was down here. I think it was down here. North America was down here, right here. And it, it, the impact happened over here, and it sent the continent that way. North America sent it, sent it this direction, basically, and stretched out the ocean floor over that over. But it still shows the spot where it hits, close to it, actually right in right on it. Show that again. Where we go. See it. Look at the weather. That shows you the size of the moon, pretty much. And look at this streak that comes down. I mean, even down here, you can see something, something right there. It doesn't fit. It's just curve right here, but it's. I mean, this it looks like it would curve, but it only goes through that. Oh man, it's so good though. That it lines right up, right there. Oh, it looks like an update. No, it's still there, right on, right on there too. Shows where. I had it right. And then you see the other circle right here. That might be. That's right in here. See it right there. Oh, you can see that edge really good right there. I like it when these. At certain times of year, these get filled in real good. And you can see them just clear. There's like a, a circle storm. Per, a, a perfect green circle storm right inside those things. Sometimes they'll be uh, like in the winter or uh, what, what time was it? Springtime, I think. Yeah, it was springtime. I was noticing those. Changes all the time. The weather's changed. There's, uh, there's repetitive patterns, though, that happen during certain times of the year, I've been noticing. Like all, uh, it seemed like the weather in South America was non existent almost all summer for sure all summer for sure it was not it wasn't even there was nothing hardly ever in, in South America it was just always clear just around the outside maybe a little tail of weather out here or something you can see where it, where the weather does wear it right there look at that that pattern that pattern is always it's been like this the same pattern where you got these three like a shape like this where it's been coming that's it comes into South America where another place where South America used to be was over here and it shows the same weather pattern that
comes off there. South America was like right here, I think. I think they had that overlay set up. Anyway, it's too long already anyway. All right, so just wanted to show you that. Have a good day.